Hi everybody, I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead, and in this video I have 10 hacks that will help you save money, time, clean more efficiently, clean without nasty, wasty chemicals, so let's get cooking. So as every homesteader, prepper, uh, self-reliant person knows, we're always on the lookout for a way to do a thing faster, better, cheaper, no chemicals, more efficient. So this list is 10 things that I think uh, are pretty awesome hacks for all around the, the kitchen and cleaning and all kinds of things that you can use and employ right now today. And so here we go. Number 10 is... Methuselah's bananas. So if your bananas are getting brown, if they're, if they're going bad too quickly, a simple trick is to take some plastic wrap and tightly wrap it around the actual stem of the banana. This will help keep the moisture in and keep them fresher for much longer. Number nine. Is static cling a problem? Well, you can save some money on dryer sheets by taking some regular old aluminum foil. You crush it into a ball really nice and tight, about two to three inches, and you just chuck that in the dryer and off to the races. No more static cling, and you can reuse it for up to six months. Number eight. Now I have what they call ham hands. So peeling boiled eggs for me stinks. Well, there's one thing you can do that will help you peel your eggs like a pro. Just basically add a, a half teaspoon to a teaspoon of baking soda to the water when you're boiling those eggs and they come clean really nice, really quick, and really easy. Number seven. Now we try to use as little chemical nasty wasty skunkness at our place as possible. So cleaning your shower head becomes a real pain in the butt. So what you can do is actually take a plastic bag, you're gonna go ahead and, and tie it around the shower head, but before you seal it off, you're gonna go ahead and put some vinegar. You're gonna fill up the shower head bag there with some vinegar and leave it till in the morning and then all you gotta do is wipe it down and you're good to go. Number six. Now one quick and easy way to clean your blender is actually just to put some soap and water right in the blender and hit blend. Now all you've got to do is rinse it out and you are squeaky clean. Number five. Now cleaning your ceiling fans can be a true pain in the butt. So find yourself an old pillowcase. You're gonna actually take that pillowcase and drape it across the whole fan blade, close it, pull it back, all the dust comes off and it doesn't dump in your hair and you now have clean fan blades. Number four. Nobody likes puke on the floor. Nobody. If you do, seek help. Expensive help. Now. But when you get puke on the floor where there's dog puke or kid puke or whatever kind of puke you got, one easy way to get that stink out very easily is you take some baking soda and water and you make a nice slurry. Then you're going to go ahead and put that onto, well don't leave the puke, you clean the puke up. But then, to get the smell out, the nastiness, you're gonna put that slurry on top of it and you're gonna kinda rub it in there, into the carpet, and you're gonna leave it till the morning. Then you just simply vacuum it up and voila, no more stinky, pukey smell. Number three. You can save a ton of money by getting food that's on sale, that's getting ready to expire or whatever, but what happens if you can't use it all? Well, a vacuum sealer is clearly the best way to do that, but what happens if you don't have a vacuum sealer? Well, you can pseudo vacuum seal your foods by taking them, putting them in a Ziploc bag, leaving it open and submerging the food underwater. So the water's going to force the air out. You kind of flip it around and then you seal it like that and poof. It's not as good as a vacuum sealer, but it's darn close. Number two, nobody likes wilted lettuce. So if you've got some lettuce that's wilted, it's not perky anymore, but it's still not nasty and rotten, you can bring that lettuce back to life by just soaking it in either very cold or ice water for 20 minutes, and it'll be yummy, 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 and ready for your sandwich and your tummy. Number one. And last but not least, you can kill ants. Naturally, no chemicals, no nastiness, with cornmeal. 
Just find where they're at. If they're coming into the house, sprinkle some cornmeal where they're, where they're sneaking in. And what happens is they'll take it and they'll eat it, but they can't digest it. So in a matter of a day or two, no more ant problem. So there you have it, people. Please share the video around. Hey, give me your suggestions on cool homestead hacks. I'd love to be able to hear them and share them. Post some comments down in the bottom. I'd greatly appreciate it. My name is Brad with Big Family Homestead, and you have an amazing day.